action. So what we have here is we have the tripod set up, which is going to basically set up the antenna, which is then going to relay us to the drone and basically create a high precision GPS. There's a few things you need. First off, unpacking this, just make sure that the legs are nicely tight and this thing isn't wobbling. Second thing you need to do is you're going to have this extension piece that you'll find as well in the antenna box and this connects to the disc which is the antenna. Pretty simply put, this is just creating kind of a higher surface area so you can get the cable attached to the antenna itself. So as it goes in, you'll notice there's a bit of a gyrosphere in here so just you gotta kind of manhandle a little bit and once you get it kind of tight, you're good to go. We have two cords that come with this. We have an IMU, or sorry, a coaxial cable, single coaxial cable, which is gonna go into the antenna. And then we're gonna have this other cord, which is gonna be basically the power cord that goes to our receiver that basically takes in the GPS information. So as we set this up pretty quickly, coaxial cable, as I mentioned, goes in. Make sure it's snug, not terribly tight. You don't need it too, too tight. And then you're gonna connect it essentially in the back to the box with the single prong that goes in. And now you've basically connected the antenna to the receiver. And now we just have to get this thing powered. So you'll find in the box as well, we have a 12 volt battery. This 12 volt battery will connect to that other cable I was showing you. And so to connect it, just simply snap in. Make sure it's not wet that was sitting on the ground. All right, make sure it's snapped in. And then what I like to do is make sure that this isn't exposed to the open sun. So in this cinder block right here, at least what we have in the field, just nicely tuck it in under the shade. And then basically this five prong port is gonna stick into the back of the receiver. And when you establish that connection, you'll start seeing that on the receiver, hold on a second, let me get it in. You're gonna start seeing on the receiver that the power button will turn on, and then this is basically starting up the antenna, triangulating the satellites that are available. The one thing that you have to realize is that when you're gonna fly the LiDAR drone, what you have to do before you do it is you have to hit the log button. And the log button is basically what's gonna log the GPS for your flight. And then when you process, you're going to basically merge that timestamp between when you fly and when the log button is hit. And make sure after the flight to turn the log button off, otherwise it's going to keep recording data. So that is the setup for the antenna.